Today, these four generations of women are going to take a mental age test. We have Gen Z right here, Kennedy Walsh. Round of applause for Kennedy Walsh. She's only 23, Three. but she has the mental age of 45. We have Claudia, she's our millennial. We have Gen X. X, oh, my are... baby. Triple X. X, 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 X. Hello, it's mom. 50s safe. Brandon, you don't four, know how four, old I am? 54. Brandon, go to your room. <laughs> this is my house. Go to your room, you're punished. <laughs> Our special guest. Yay. We have my grandmother. She is a boomer. Big time. Boomer. Big time. Big time. <laughs> 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 a little time boomer. Big round of applause yes. for she grandma. just turned 75. You're 75? Mm -hmm. Doesn't look an age over, uh, a okay. day over 30. Okay. <laughs> What do you think you were mental age is? Well, that's gonna go oldest, next, yeah. youngest, youngest. Yeah. Yeah, it's progression is a real thing. What, what do you feel mentally? She feels five. I feel kind of. <laughs> we have 20 questions, and by the end of this, we will know your exact mental age. This is scientifically proven. Okay. This test is the official test of Harvard University. Very funny. And, and by that, and by that, you mean Corey made it up. I looked this up is, Harvard's show. This is an actual certificate. Do not say it. Now you're, you're making me nervous, Brandon. Mom, don't be nervous. Okay. She literally was like scared of, to be tested. The government's gonna get these results and they're gonna use it against us. <laughs> it's like, it's fine, you'll be fine. Question no. number one. My body count is <laughs> God. 12 or more or 11 how or less. This, how is this well, mental age? I don't even know if she knows, what that, she knows what that means. When you, I don't know what that means. It's how many people you've killed. Nope. <laughs> it's how I many thought, people you've had sex with. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's your BMI. <laughs> that's your body mass index. I don't want to answer that. How many no, people how many you've had you sex How many people with? you've slept with? Oh, ooh. oh, jeez. <laughs> Way There's... too personal. Uh, red. Hmm. <laughs> Damn, mom, you're a whore. Uh, I'm hey, not. Claudia, you just I'm said the other day. She said 11 or less, lady. Body count means nothing. Body count is Mine's 154. Brandon, you know what it's not. It's definitely B. Mine's 12 and a half. Body count means nothing. Corey's keeping track of all the results. Just want everyone to know that. On a plane, a child is kicking your seat. I've had that happen. Do you? A, confront them and tell them to stop, or B, avoid social interaction I and just I don't know because I've been changing. I've been more confrontational lately. No, I would pick B, I would just suck Wait, it up. It really depends on like, what the Does kid looks like. Does staring them down when they turn around and look at me? No. That's the same as avoid social interaction. Just How bad are they kicking the seat? Like, is it just like a, like a light, like, dun, 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 or is it like a, mm, oh, mm, like I cannot so focus on anything it's else? Yeah, it's like constant, like just. B. I would avoid it. You would say something, Mom? You, if it was you that would, bad, would above. you would not say something. That is a lie. None of no, the yeah, you definitely not. Can, can, you be like, can you be like, should I, should I say something? She would no. not I'm say something. something. Sometimes I surprise myself. Okay, I'll say B. Mom nice would absolutely say something. Mom I would say something. Would would confront wait, wait, Graham, so you would avoid social interaction. You would let them do no, it? No, no, I would turn around and go, sweetie. Right, she, she would be really nice. What, what, what if they go, no. I'm son. nice, but I, I say it like it is. You, you know what I would do to the kid? I'll just be like, hmm. No, you wouldn't. A little backhand. No, you wouldn't. wouldn't. Backhand action. It's so mm. funny because you would never do that. Yeah, and you avoid confrontation more than Literally. Literally. Brandon, you would just have, Look you at would that just face. turn your he music. You can't even properly would, make a no, face. No, Brandon no, would no, have his, right. um. Hey, are you having a stroke over there? <laughs> Parents control your kids. Don't take your kids on planes if they're gonna act like little rats. <laughs> I currently own three or more cats or two or less cats. Oh yeah, this is so Harvard. Graham, turn yours around. Oh. <laughs> I'm not paying attention is what it is. That's what happened Wait, in school. What? I just wanted to draw. That's all I would do. I would draw and write stories. Me too. <laughs> I wrote a story called Thunderbolt. It was about a horse. And it was, so <laughs> it was so good that I got up and read it to the whole class. What class was it? Wow. Elementary school. <laughs> no, oh, it wasn't like I would write okay. sexual stories in um, middle school. What kind of stories? Just like sexual ones. Uh, whoa. No one knew. <laughs> I hit it. You're at the store and you can't find something you need. So you go to an employee, but they're busy with another customer. Do you announce to the employee that you'd like help when they're finished? Or do you awkwardly pretend to inspect whatever is near until they're finished with the I other literally customer? did this the other day. She left. I didn't realize they were with another customer. I needed help getting something out of a perfume case. So I asked them, she kind of gave me a little bit of attitude. So I was like, 
Okay. And, and I left. F. That means you're B. You didn't no, tell. it's not. It's I didn't thing. do B. Yeah, but it's you ask them for help. They're busy. So then what do you do after they're busy? That's not on there. <laughs> yeah, well, you didn't definitely didn't do A. Yes, I did. I literally asked them for help. Oh asked them God, for help. Have to and word for word. <laughs> I didn't do B. But you also didn't do A. Okay. Yes, I did. I announced that I to the employee you that I'd me. like help. Okay, Kennedy, uh, you're A. Oh All right, God, next. Okay, next question. When I drink, I prefer to sip on a single drink or B, take shots. I like both. I like both. I'm gonna go like this. Which one do you prefer more? You have to choose one. I can't. You have to. Excuse me? Stop speaking. Right. Stop speaking? Corey she she just told me to stop speaking. <gasps> okay, this is what happens when you sit them so close together. <laughs> I told you I should have been in the It's middle. her. <laughs> but I do like to sip on a single drink. We know. Okay. You walk into a bookstore and the greeter, greeter immediately says the woman's book section is this way. Do you politely say thank you or do you tell them to f off? Sadly, Wait, I. Wait, what? The woman's book section is this way. Why would she say that? Because you're a woman. Is there even a women's book section? No. It's a stupid off. question. No, it's not. I tell them to f off. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, you wouldn't. Why are they telling me that? Just because I'm a woman. What if I want to go in there about men's book? <laughs> That's judging me. I'd be like, okay, thank you. And then I walk and be like, why did they just say I'd that to me? I'd rather just go, uh -huh, and keep walking. Yeah, exactly. I would just quietly be like, oh, get the <laughs> <laughs> I That's would not take it personally then. at all. You wouldn't? I would go, thank you. And then I'd go. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, thank you, you're so kind. <laughs> and then she'd be like, yeah, I, I mean, no, to be I honest, no, like, that's not an insult. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm a woman Never. and I'm proud. Maybe I just think just it's wrong. What if I was going in there for my it's pets? Wrong. Especially considering there's women's books because they're not buying them. Books. What if I wanted a cat book? I would have been like, well, like, I'm here to get a recipe. And he'd be well, like, the women's that's yeah. <laughs> that is the woman's book section. You're, pro you're proving his point. If he's sexist, he thinks you belong in the kitchen. See, that's cooking. The past month, I've eaten pizza, bagels, chicken nuggets, or Mac and cheese. I, but I made homemade pizza and homemade bagels. It's pizza bagels, not pizza or bagels. I don't eat junk food. It's junk food. I do not eat junk food. Okay. Off the top of my head, I can name five Taylor Swift songs. Can he can? I know they can. I heard I it, can but I wouldn't know what they're called. Song off the top of my head. I don't even know. What would you think if I said, who's Taylor Swift? <gasps> Mom, I, I wouldn't kidding. Be, I wouldn't be yes. kidding. Yeah, but who was who was the Taylor Swift of your generation? If it was wow. a, if it was a group, it would be the Beatles. The Beatles are still timeless. like they're timeless. Yeah, the Beatles are timeless. Okay, I exercise regularly to stay healthy and fit. <clears throat> oh, the only one. Odd man out. <gasps> I have been divorced. Wouldn't that be true. funny if true it was false. true for me? <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's been divorced four times. I've thought about that, just getting married to somebody and getting divorced just to tell people about it. It's a, it's a mm -hmm. symbol of how I don't view marriage as a real thing. It is, as long as it lasts. Only for I understand your point. medical and legal reasons. Well, no, she <laughs> loves her. I've been married twice. Once, a long, 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 long time, and the other one since last March. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I would rather be struggling financially, but with a loving partner, or rich, but single. <laughs> I was already <laughs> struggling financially, no but with contest. a loving partner. No. And then there was no loving partner, so I'm just gonna say rich. Mom, loving. I don't think any of them were fully loving partners. Dad was at one point, and we were still struggling. I got a big A. What? That's because she hasn't. No way. You know why? Because well. she hasn't been struggling. Are you, are you long thinking like Jesse though? Money cannot mm -hmm. buy you love. love. That's I already have miserable someone. if I had Audio money, but no one. Jesse breaks her materialism. It's crazy. I would have said that I, back when. That's the thing. I, I would, I would say a. a if I was in love with somebody, but yeah. I'm not. So of course, I'm I would have totally said that with that a long time ago. Older and older and older and older. I have one thing to say. Money can't buy you love. What was money can buy you love? It's true. But money can buy me a lot of things that I love. <laughs> That's true. You could Forever. buy her a man or a girl. Like, if I'm rich, I'm buying a, an AI robot yes, that I can Love. do whatever I want with. Like, what kind of stuff would you do with it? That's up to me and that robot. <laughs> and have a sex yeah, robot. It doesn't have to be a sex far. robot. I didn't say anything about that. You're saying that. Then why have it? Maybe I want emotional intimacy. They only make the sex ones because no one buys the emotional intimacy ones. A Lamborghini speeds past you on the highway. Do you think? Wow, nice car. Or that asshole was going way too fast. <laughs> both. I'd probably be both. Yeah, it would no, be both. Mom, you would not be A. That bit. Absolutely. A Lamborghini? Yeah. Every time a car does that and it's loud. Oh, I'm like, Brandon, I mean, Jack. 
Uh, Kennedy, there's no Lamborghinis that fly past me. Just call me Brandon. Yeah, I was like having a brain seizure. Uh, Brandon, uh, Kennedy. Uh, if a Lamborghini uh, passed oh, me, yeah, I'd be Kennedy, like, damn, that's, that's a nice that's car. Awesome. Forget, Lamborghinis do not go past me. They're two cars that do this that. This ear, I'm gonna need a hearing aid after sitting. Okay, here. well, this ear's gonna need a here, hearing aid for the two of you. <laughs> Take mine. 13, birthdays should be celebrated by spending alone time relaxing or partying with a lot of friends. These are horrible options. Yeah, really. I spent enough time alone relaxing on my birthday, so I'm I gonna say partying with a lot of friends. Yeah, now. I also feel like it'd be depressing. Yeah, it was depressing. Yeah. I have to think about this. Mom, you just well, had a party. Know. I know, so that. My, my grandmother had a rager. And we all got Duh. Right. And threw up. So you can rage without the Molly. Oh, there was Molly. Who? What are you talking about? She doesn't know what Molly is because they didn't call it that back then. Drugs. I don't think they had that. Drug. They had a lot of drugs, but not Molly. We don't do drugs anymore. She did her fair share of drugs, y'all. I didn't do a fair share. I just did one thing more than anything. <laughs> she did an unfair share. Okay, this is a good one. I think social media is more harmful than it is helpful, or more helpful than it is hard. Mm. Mommy's gonna say B. It's literally the reason my entire life is the way it is. Right, exactly. <laughs> Only because, I have to say, because I read about the harm that it does to kids. Yeah. Look at us. I know. <laughs> now, yeah. Lately, nowadays, today, I'm gonna say this. I'll say helpful because I literally find out any information I need to know on social media. I don't know what the f I would be doing if it weren't for social media. I right, and then I say plan. this. Um, you pick one or the other. You no, I'm going halfway switch. of time of this. You and then cannot. I'm it to this. No, you cannot. Pick one. Pick this one. is for you all. I'll say that. Okay, I'm gonna say B. You all just went to B. No, go with their first decision. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> so many conspiracy. Theory. I would just be poor, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> the better invention in the last 20 years: self checkout or the smartphone. Self checkout. Oh, I hate God. talking Definitely to people. The smartphone. I still go to normal checkout sometimes just because I feel bad for the cashier. I don't. I hate <laughs> sitting there awkwardly while they That's were just so they're ringing yeah. me. I know. I like, went to Target the other day bad. and he, he was making too much conversation with me and I was just like. I always go to the people. Okay. I prefer to watch the news or a funny content creator. We know what you two are choosing. <laughs> Literally. I do both. Mom, mm -hmm. you watch the news like you need it to survive. Yeah. <laughs> you watch the news like it's your crack and you're a crack addict. <laughs> I'm a big news, news person. Politics is entertainment. Also, okay, so in a way it is your funny content. Social media has become the news. <clears throat> That's some true. Some good That's things true. are on the news, you know. <laughs> Barely. Only, oh, no, there she's with trick or treating, but also a man shot up a bowling alley. It's like, yeah. mm, no. Okay, you just finished a really big meal at a restaurant. Next, you want to go to sleep oh. or to get dessert. Definitely B, I could take some dessert right now. <laughs> Ken, you would go to sleep. I want to go home and get dessert, you know what I mean? <laughs> So you don't have C, get a drink. <laughs> yeah, that's a dessert, basically. If I'm drinking, I'm drinking first. <laughs> if I'm oh, drinking, I'm drinking just first. <laughs> just find out you have a new task. Do you get it over with right away or wait until you feel motivated to do it? It depends on what the shore is. If it's something that I comes into my head that I have to take care of, and I can't And you know it's gonna it. like eat you and, and it's gonna eat, up like, if you don't if get it done. I'm doing my kundalini yoga, and I have to jump up or write it down because I'm afraid of what I forget. Yoga. But if it's something that I have to do, like make my bed, I'll wait until what? I feel I make my bed, oh, I don't even I make, make my, my bed. bed. I right sleep away. on top of yeah, my mom bed. Your mom doesn't even, I don't even know why you have sheets on there. Yeah. You sleep on top of the sheets? And then yeah. I don't have to make my bed. It's already made. <laughs> okay, I think about my mistakes. Not so much or frequently. Psychoanalyzing. OCD, girly. I love psychoanalyzing myself and everyone around me. So I think about my mistakes all day long. I don't really make that many mistakes anymore. Damn, you're confident. I take responsibility, but I don't yeah. do any that frequently. Well, <laughs> <laughs> my mistake days are Oh, so, yeah. Girl. I think once you hit a certain age, you just I've learned don't my mistakes. I don't really mean mistakes exactly. either, but big time. It's not about mistakes, it's things that maybe I think are mistakes, yeah. but they're not. They're probably not. When you get to be a certain age, you, if you don't, haven't learned from your mistakes, then right. you, you need to go back in the womb. Yeah. <laughs> AKA, go to hell. Okay, last one. I wish I could spend a lot more time with my family. Bro. I mean, we spend a lot of time with <laughs> I don't, I don't know how <laughs> a lot more time. Not me. Oh, everybody's saying true. I don't, okay. see them. <laughs> I don't see them enough because they're also busy doing social media. I mean, yeah, I see you guys a lot. <laughs> I, don't know. I feel like I don't see you all that often. If I had to pick, I would say yeah. We're all gonna but... be together for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like my alone time, but like, I mean, I wish we all did some more together. Now it is time for the official results. What are your mental ages? It's actually surprising. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Kennedy's official mental age is 34.9. All right. 
I feel that's pretty she accurate. Made it up. Claudia's mental age is 39.5. That's so <laughs> false. Yeah, that's not true. Wow. Her mental age is absolutely younger than mine. <laughs> I do not act like that. <laughs> Old. That's not old. That's not old. Claudia, you have like a house and everything that you're taking care of. Doesn't mean that you're old. What the? <laughs> Grandma, we're gonna do yours next. Okay. Grandma. Your official age, based on this, was 72. <laughs> oh, wow. So you were very mature. I am mature. She get down on the ground and start crawling around and playing with toys. Right. <laughs> she would. Right. Yeah. Right. Like. <laughs> see. Her mental age is like. <laughs> Six? If there was like a little kid, <laughs> yeah. If there was a little Provincial kid, age is like ground. six months old. <laughs> How old do you think you are? You, you yeah. disagree with the seventy-two? I can disagree. Uh, cause cause what do you think you are? Um, I'd say twelve. Twelve? <laughs> you can still have a lot of knowledge. And, but I, oh god, I'm a wise and be wise on recent. <laughs> Well, you don't know, call you're yourself a crow. crow. You know, call yourself an owl. Oh, just, just a, just a wise owl. When you turn 50, you are a crow. I'm, I'm not a crow. <laughs> All I think is a wiry old bird. <laughs> That's what you are. What are you I am old? not an old wiry bird. You're a wiry old bird. <laughs> okay, so speaking of crones, we have the final mental age. Your mental age, according to the official Harvard mental age According test, to Corey. Was 67.5. What? That's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> and it's all because you watch the news. That screwed the, me the, the, news, the news mentally ages you by yeah. 20 years. If you stop watching the news today, you can lower your age from 70 to 20. 